what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so we're going to talk about chucky season three in this video here today before we go any further, I do want to just say that this is all alleged, rumored, but I know for a fact that it's reliable. Okay, so we're going to be talking about part two, specifically episodes five through eight. I'll also be revealing the title of episode six because I don't think the title of episode six has actually been revealed uh, in any capacity until this video, of course. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't think the episode six title has been put online out there in any capacity. But we're going to talk about what you can expect in episode five and then just other things that are going to be in this season that you can expect. Now, if you don't want any type of spoilers or things that you consider spoilers or any sort of teases, you should not be watching this. But if you don't care, then welcome. So I'm hearing that the supernatural stuff in episode five is very heavy. The president's family are having like these visions or nightmares of deaths that have happened in the White House. Chucky, of course, will be struggling with his own mortality and being super old. And then there's a major death of someone that we met at the start of the season that occurs during episode five. Miss Fairchild also will make a return during this episode as well. But don't get too excited because they are committing to her death. She's not being brought back to life or anything like that. Then there's several other people that appear in the form of a ghost during episode five, apparently. There's also a pretty hilarious sequence. I would imagine how this could turn out being quite hilarious with Chucky coping with being old as hell, where he's watching TV. And then there are a few fun, notable horror dolls that make an appearance. And yes, one in particular is going to be Megan. I wouldn't say this rules out a versus film because if Megan is a movie in the chucky world maybe megan got a movie for being a popular doll in this world like chucky and tiffany got a movie in this world called chucky goes psycho for their popular myths surrounding them so i don't want to say that because megan is a movie that that means that megan doesn't exist in this world they could go in a very meta type of approach that is always still a possibility but as a whole episode five is just a lot of white house stuff jake and devin have a pretty useless conversation with the witch doctor too apparently granted i'm hearing there's some mention of a spirit realm chucky will also gain access to nuclear codes in this episode too but what can you expect from the rest of the season episode six through eight for starters episode six is apparently titled panic room i don't believe that was revealed again in the past because six was always secretive so there's a scoop for you if it hasn't already been mentioned it seems like the trio search for Caroline will last the entire second half and it's not going to be something they resolve during the first couple of episodes. It looks like it's going to be stretched out up until episode eight. In true Chucky fashion, Caroline is not the only accomplice that he has during this season. There's going to be someone else that's on Chucky's side, just like Tiffany wasn't his only accomplice in the past, etc. Think Dr. Dr. Mixter from season two. I think that was her name. Just pretend you have Dr. Mixer all over again. Then there's a character that we first met during season one that's going to make a return. But I will say don't make any wild predictions because it's not too exciting. And then four major characters are going to have their lives turned upside down by the time we reach episode eight. And I do mean turned upside down because there's a specific thing that happens. that I'm, I don't know how people are going to receive this. Me, myself, without even seeing the episodes, I don't I don't like how this sounds, <laughs> but four major characters are going to have their lives turned upside down by the time we get to episode eight. Jake and Chucky are going to get very close as well. Make of that what you will, but those two are going to get very close. You'll see what that means when the season begins airing. Personally, from what I'm hearing after this trailer came out today, the stuff that I'm hearing goes down during part two makes me second guess being hyped for part two because the shenanigans that are going on in the White House are probably a little bit too much. Granted, of course, introducing Ghost isn't too unbelievable, but it all comes down to do we really even need to be seeing all these ghosts? He has, Don Mancini has hyped up the fact that this would be leaning into some shining inspiration. But was it really necessary? Uh, Brad Dorf, I don't think, appears until episode eight. I could be wrong. 
But from what I'm hearing, doesn't seem like the second half is something I'm going to be excited for. You know, I'm hearing that uh, Wendell Wilkins, who is the good guy creator played by John Waters, his arrival and inclusion is pretty much useless and waste a waste of a return for John Waters. Not that he doesn't address how the good guy doll's legacy around these killings have impacted him because he does. But he's a pretty uneventful and significant character outside of that, at least in terms of the presentation, because I do know there is something major that is going on with him. But then the season also ends on a very anticlimactic note because there's so much left unresolved due to some of the creative decisions that they decide to make so it does still end teasing where to go into season four so it does have a cliffhanger of sorts despite the rumor that it was going to be more like like cl conclusive it, it's not it's not conclusive at all it leaves a lot to be explored in a potential fourth season and it kind of starts teasing a season four at the end of this season anyway with a sequence from a Chucky doll is all I'll say. But season four hasn't been confirmed. The way in which they end the trio story, I don't like it. I don't I don't like like this because if we don't get a season four renewal, ugh, I'm, I'm not going to like how this TV show ended if this is how it ended. Then you have Nika, who's also still being wasted, apparently. They've been wasting Nika the entire season, you could argue. Because Nika, we were told, was going to go after Tiffany and get this revenge plan, or get this revenge. That's been uneventful. All Tiffany did was go to prison. And even still, going out of season three, they're wasting Nika. I don't know. I think I, I was really excited for this until... I started getting these reputable things shared with me and I know 100% they're true and I don't like this stuff. I, I, I really don't even want a season four anymore. You guys will know what I mean when you see it, uh, but I'm also hearing that they really just waste the trio in the final episode. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.